Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Revelation chapter 11, verses 15 through 19. The Reverend Kevin Robson is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from the Revelation chapter 11. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. The seventh and the final in the complete line of apocalyptic trumpets sets a divine punctuation mark on the six blasts that come before. All things are brought to fulfillment. Look, now it is finished. And yet, at the end of all disorder and calamity within the former corrupted creation, there it is, the grand expression of what is to follow. Behold what is to come, and what therefore is as good as done, just as the God of all mercy has ordained it. In perfect judgment, he poured out his full wrath upon his enemies, your enemies. He has destroyed those who were doing the destroying deeds of the devil and his followers. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Yes, and he is the Lord and Savior who is worshipped and adored in in eternity the faithful from every age, every saint of the church of the Old Testament and the New, there they are, the immense multitude having become one very loud chorus in resurrection and judgment. All bow prostrate before him who was and who is, always for them. Supreme in victory, he alone reigns in the kingdom without end. The cosmos has been restored to its perfect order and rightful ownership. It belongs to our Heavenly Father and His Anointed One, the Savior, God's Son, the crucified and resurrected Lamb who redeemed it back from the tyrannical imposter the old evil foe who had outrageously and terribly claimed it for himself. God so loved the world that he sent his son into the world to save it. And now the Lord has opened his inmost dwelling place so that what was previously inaccessible to us mortal, miserable sinners has become the visible, experienced center of all life and joy. His is the covenant of divine grace by the shed blood of atonement, and yours is the benefit. His is all the majesty in infinite breadth and height and depth, ensconced in lightning and rumbling, hail and thunder and earthquake, And yours is the reverent awe in an eternal Sabbath rest. Fear, love, and trust in the Lord, in his incomprehensible power and dominion with his perfect righteousness, and you shall live to experience his glory forever. 
How sweet the calm of paradise the blessed. Born of your baptism, by the revelation of the Holy Spirit, through the means of the word of Christ preached and administered, this reward has been placed into the receptive hands of the faithful. You are there before God's throne to see what no eye has seen and to hear what no ear has heard and to experience that which is beyond anyone's heart that has thus far imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. But not quite yet. Now the consuming fire of judgment and the end of time and fallen creation draw near, but the end has yet to arrive for us. Your present day journey is not yet done. To go from here to there, from now to then, means change for you, yet forthcoming. A continuing transformation and recreation project so thoroughgoing in body and soul that it could never be mustered from your own willpower or energy by sufficiently applied human reason or self-commitment. This is Lent's beating heart. This now season of your repentance and renewal. It is, on the one hand, unflinchingly to examine your desperate situation and to grieve over what got you here, your sin so made manifest in so many ways. It is to realize your inherent inability to stand before perfect God without blood guilt. Lent is to admit your utter brokenness it is to be embarrassed by your empty hands and hardened heart and filthy garments. Lent is to cry tears over the lack of your love and mercy toward your family and your neighbors. Lent is to gaze in a harshly critical manner upon the corrupted world around you, to carefully take in its full measure, and then to cast aside every passing allurement and to die to every temptation to sin, to refuse whatever it is in this transitory earthly life that has become your God whatever it is that is causing you to be anxious or fearful. Lent is to disengage from whatever it is that has severed you from the one and only true God and His Christ. And then Lent, on the other hand, is to peer forward into the glory of the temple, and to be awed into reverence at the sight of that ark that bears the ancient covenant inscribed in stone. Lent is to allow the lightning to flash from the font and the earthquake to rumble and the thunder to peal from the pulpit. Lent is to go to the mercy seat of the altar to receive the flesh and blood of him who was the perfect fulfillment of that law recorded on those sacred tablets. Lent is to let your mortal flesh keep silence in preparation for the day when your flesh will be raised in flawless perfection of the resurrection and your voice will be joined to that heavenly chorus loudly to declare, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for chapel. Today we pray for the Reverend John and Melinda Bombaro who serve the Lord in Latvia. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.